Hello, my loves, and welcome to another episode of Naomi the G. On today's episode, we are getting into the energy of you beautiful Sagittarius people. <laughs> it's been a long day, but I am here with you, and we are in the trenches, bay, bay. Okay, so on today's message, um, we are getting into this Sagittarius spirit. And I'm going to start getting some cards and stuff together for you guys and see what spirit has in store for you. Have you ever felt the sense of like maybe I'm I'm kind of being two different people? You know what I'm saying? Like maybe sometimes um in in the daytime when I'm with a certain group of people like at work. I might be kind and poised and friendly and and very smiley, but when you are at home and you're around your loved ones, you tend to be a little bit more snappy and irritable and um, maybe just outright mean, you know? And Spirit wants you to know, like, if you've been feeling like that, like, you know, I try my hardest to just you know, merge the two energies. Spirit is like, it's not really about merging the two. Um, it's really about calling out what it is, okay? So why are you one way at home? You know what I'm saying? Why are you one way at work? Why are you like this with a certain group of people um, or friends and people that you respect, but around your homegirls and stuff, you kick it and you act a whole nother way. Um, Spirit wants you to like kind of call that thing out because that right there is your shadow self and this is a week of things of, of occurrences where you're going to be, it's going to be like poking the bear, okay? You could be going through some stuff, but it's going to make you feel like, um, I want to say kind of like inadequate in certain areas of your life. And that's just because honestly, you are um, lacking in some, in some type of way. There is a spirit of lack and it should not be there because... One thing about you Sagittarius is you guys are so unique in the fact that the way you think. You guys are always thinking optimistic, always knowing things are going to work out for you. But you also need to channel what it is about you that's making you feel like you have to be one way or another. Okay? I don't know who that message is for. It don't have to be for everybody. It just could be for somebody. Um, but I also see the spirit of you having to compromise. Um as it pertains to a relationship for those that are in one i feel like you guys are going to have to compromise or kind of like come to the table and lay the cards out on <coughs> excuse me on what it is that you guys want to do moving forward are you guys going to really be together are you guys going to be on opposing teams you know what i'm saying are you guys going to like come together and be as one um you know what i mean because honestly would you rather like i have had this conversation with my man a couple of weeks ago and we wasn't like in an argument or anything like that but I, I i told him would you rather be right or would you rather um be happy okay so this is one of those things would you rather be right or would you rather be happy what means more to you okay keeping the thing going continuing to argue or just letting it be okay coming to a mutual ground that you both can like really stand to be on um, that's just for some people also. And it really comes with maturity. Like I always say, a lot of this stuff, if you are like a little bit younger, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to hear it right now because you're not going to be able to see it. But once you go through life and you get to know different types of people, then you really know exactly what you can and cannot deal with. Okay. And once you, then that helps you develop a self, um, like a self-respect. You actually know yourself better because you know what type of relationship you can see yourself in, then you would attract that. And then from there comes the compromise, okay? Because nobody is perfect. You're not going to meet the exact perfect person. Um, you're going to meet them and you're going to feel like they have some flaws. But at the end of the day, what is it, is it worth dealing with? Hello, somebody, okay? And that's just what it is. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get into your actual read. But before we do, you already know. Let's do the YouTube stuff. Let's go ahead and like the video, comment below. Let me know how this energy resonates in your life. And we're now going to pop on into this reading for my people. So Spirit is definitely letting me know that this is definitely um, probably going to be a love reading. 
Uh, wasn't expecting that. All right, Sagittarius. I feel like this is a woman seeking. Um, it could be a woman seeking another woman, or this could be just um, a woman with a lot of feminine energy. And I feel like you guys are probably nesting with women too you know like maybe you have like a lot of women in your household right now so that dominance of that female energy is super strong in this read right now but i do feel like you guys probably have been going at it for so long by yourself alone having to do everything taking on so many tasks and responsibilities doing at home projects doing grocery shopping buying the groceries bringing me cooking um, you know what I'm saying? Doing your whole day-to-day -day routine that you almost are so comfortable with being by yourself that now that you're in a relationship or one is sparking up or, or you're open to being in one, it's like, do I really want to be in one? Because I'm kind of content over here doing my thing. Like, I feel more happy over here than having to worry about or worry with some man or, so, or some woman. You know what I'm saying? But spirit is also letting me know, like, but the, the compromise is still there, sis, okay? You might need to still figure out what it is that you can do in order to usher in this man into your life or woman or how you're going to be able to move into a relationship because you are in this relationship or this relationship is being presented to you so you can learn more about yourself okay that's really what it's about and i feel like um together you guys are gonna accomplish goals you guys are gonna make money together and you're gonna like develop a nice little nest egg for you to kind of rest on into your retirement so from what I see, this is like a long-term relationship. Sagittarius people, especially Sagittarius women. I feel like you guys are going to get into the energy of compromising and learning how to compromise because you guys are going to fall on each other in some type of way. You're going to need him or her and vice versa. You're going to need each other. Um, so right now, you probably just need to learn how to come to the, to the table um, and just spell out what it is that, okay, well, this is how I feel about this. If we got to move forward and they're going to take it, okay, because you have the type of energy that is so, I want to say domineering, but in a good way. Like they trust your judgment. They know that you are very much a very smart person. Um, they trust the fact that you're very dominant and they love that about you. They love the fact that you are a leader. You know what I'm saying? They love the fact that you're very optimistic and they can tell that you got a dark side and they don't mind that about you. Okay, that's actually highly attractive to this person. So when you have all this attractiveness going on, Sagittarius people, okay, then just know like when you are talking about compromising, it's going to go in your favor. But you're going to have to learn how to like bend a little so that it can. Um, and I see that very strongly. Like I was trying to get out of this relationship thing, but that's kind of hard to do, y'all, because I see it very strong up in this dancery. And um, I just feel like the energy of somebody who's probably been alone, alone for so long, it's kind of hard for you to even feel like, uh, is this really what I want to do? Do I really need a compromise? And Spirit is saying that you do. Um, and also try not to compare your relationship to anyone else's because this, this relationship that you guys are embarking on is going to be one that is, um, possibly going to end up in marriage. Okay. Hallelujah for those who want that. And not only that, um, y'all relationship is extremely unique. Y'all are not a fly by night, whatever is coming towards you. If you're not in this relationship already, I was talking to my couples and my singles, but if you are single and you out here like a Pringle and you are ready to mingle, bars, then you are going to meet someone that's going to be your forever person. And that is for sure. Um, but what I see, you go, know, if don't get into the comparison um, with the two of y'all or compare, comparing your relationship to someone else because spirit is like, you have so much more um, to offer, okay? Like, y'all y'all going to get together and y'all going to really do big things together and people are going to celebrate y'all relationship because it's going to be that strong of a foundation. But if I had to leave you with a couple of words, it'll be use this um this experience with in this relationship as an adventure that you're embarking on this is a new thing let new experiences come through don't bring up nothing old in front of past okay um learn how to compromise and not compare um and that's pretty much all i have for you guys today 
Um, love you guys so much, my Sagittarius people, the most optimistic people I know, okay? Y'all superpower is definitely optimism. Um, we'll be with each other very soon on another episode of Naomi the Chief. Make sure you guys hit subscribe because you know I got my eyes on you, okay? I'm watching you. Also, make sure you guys like the video and comment and let me know how this energy resonates in your life. Until next time. Mm -hmm.